additive property of equality with whole numbers. In your Alex Pie, mouse over the light green slice, linear equations and inequalities to reveal the drop down list of topics you need to cover. Click on additive property of equality with whole numbers. Here's an example problem. Solve for V. V plus 3 equals 7. Let's click explain. We must replace V with a number that makes the equation true. And the number is 4, because if you ask yourself what plus 3 is 7, well, 4 plus 3 is 7. And so we can take a look at another way. And if we're not sure how to solve this or what the answer would be, if we don't know that the answer is 4, um, we could do it this way. Since this is v plus 3, the opposite of adding would be subtracting because we want to get v by itself on the left and get an answer on the right. And so if we're adding 3, then we need to subtract 3 to get v by itself. And what I do to one side of the equation, I need to do to the other side. And so minus 3 on this side and minus 3 on this side. And so then we end up with v equals 4. Let's try another one. Solve for u, 6 equals u minus 1. Here are my notes, 6 equals u minus 1. And so you can either ask yourself, well, what minus 1 equals 6 and come up with 7? Or if you're not sure, you can go through the process here. And so since this is subtracting 1, the opposite of subtracting 1 is adding 1 to get rid of these so that we get u by itself on one side and an answer on the other side. And so if I add 1 to one side to keep this equal, I have to add 1 to the other side. And so these cancel out, so I just have u over here by itself, and 6 plus 1 is 7. And to check this to make sure it's the correct answer, I can plug 7 in for u into the original equation. And so does 6 equal 7 minus 1? And so when I compute this on the right side, 7 minus 1 is 6, then I end up with 6 does equal 6, and it checks out. And so 7 is my final answer. In my Alex screen, type in the answer that I got in my notes, 7, and click Next and it says that I got the correct answer. Let's try one more. Solve for x, 11 equals 10 plus x. Here are my notes, 11 equals 10 plus x. And so I could either kind of look at this and try to recall my addition facts and think, oh, well 10 plus one would equal 11. But if I'm struggling to come up with that, then I can go through the process here. And so with 10 plus x, I have positive 10, and I want to get this x by itself. And so the opposite of positive 10 is negative 10, or subtracting 10 from both sides. And so 10 minus 10 is what would give me 0 to get rid of it. And I also have to subtract 10 from this side. 11 minus 10 is 1, and so then I'm left with just x over here and 1 over here, and so 1 equals x. To check that, which you don't have to check, but you can if you want to, just to make sure that your answer is correct, plug in 1 for x. So does 11 equal 10 plus 1? And over here, 10 plus 1 is 11, and this is 11. 11 does equal 11, so it does check out, and so 1 is my answer. In my Alex screen, type in the answer that I got in my notes, 1, and click Next. And it says that I got the correct answer. Thanks for watching.